Hi everybody, welcome to the channel, Thailand Dreaming, Love Letters from Retirement. My name's Ed, and uh, today this video will be about uh, building homes in Thailand, or the alternative to building a new home in Thailand. I'll go and take you to uh, my friend Matt and Kay's house to have a look at what can be done with uh, existing structures Thai buildings and timber, uh, mostly teak, uh, and look at their amazing home in Cha Am that was deconstructed in uh, Prey and then reconstructed after transportation to Cha Am to Matt and Kay's uh, specifications. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you like these videos about Thailand, uh, what I'm doing, what I'm seeing, please uh, like the channel like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Okay, let's get going and have a look here. So here I am this afternoon with Rob. Hi guys, how are you going? And Matt, who so kindly lined me up with my new abode, <laughs> a gentleman and a scholar. And the only problem is that they've been uh, pumping long necks into me all morning <laughs> since I've been here. And this is, what's your name, baby? Sola. Sola's a bit shy. You're a bit shy. Who are you? And are, are you a bit angry? Are you showing off? Are you smiling or are you showing off? So we have a look at the grounds here and as I walk down the side of the house you can see uh, yeah, some of the detail that uh, Matt and Gay are putting into the place this uh, recessed brick trough is for the water runoff to drain away from the uh, main underhouse uh, living area. And uh, then we walk around to the pool. It's a beautiful pool. And uh, this coconut tree here is actually the only original tree on the property. Everything else in the gardens. Uh, they've brought in, uh, planted themselves and uh, gardened themselves and uh, still in the process of landscaping of course. Uh, down in the end of the pool here there's uh, a spa with uh, a really big strong jet. I haven't been in there but uh, it looks pretty powerful. And uh, you've got uh, outdoor showers at the pool. Uh, you've got uh, a washroom and a toilet at the pool. Glass isn't in the windows yet. Place is still under construction. Uh, this is the pump house. That white wall there, since I've shot this video, has had a big mural put on it, uh, which includes uh, the dog they lost from a car accident. And it was so realistic that all the other dogs were barking and going off their heads at it. One in particular was just for hours standing there staring at it and barking and carrying on. Yeah, beautiful rice paddies uh, bordering up to the property with the view out over Nang Pantarat there, which is about, uh, probably you could walk there in 10 minutes from the place. Beautiful area. Yeah, so as you can see, some of the house is new, but all of the timber parts of the house have been transported from a house deconstructed, a traditional Thai house deconstructed in Prey and uh, transported down here and then reconstructed to uh, their own personal specifications. Now over here on the outside of the house, you'll see there's uh, a fairly big storage area, a couple of big water tanks in there that uh, obviously have a pump that uh, keeps the water pressure up into the house. And uh, here you have the laundry, laundry and kitchens, usually traditionally in Thailand are outside the home. And uh, this is the kitchen, really large kitchen set outside the house and uh, close to the uh, 
main uh, living area, which is sort of outside as well, underneath the house. Now we'll go over to the downstairs area and you see firstly this magnificent cabinet with full of absolutely beautiful traditional crockery i don't know if it's chinese or thai i'd say i'd say thai some beautiful carvings and where that door is there is a guest room i won't open it up i won't show both of the guest rooms there are two guest rooms i think they're pretty much identical i love these elephant carvings absolutely gorgeous yeah so we'll go in and have a look there's the wardrobe yeah and uh, this is the guest room one of the guest rooms ac of course beautiful views fantastic bathroom really handsome dude they're looking there uh, videoing the, the bathroom and uh yeah so they've done a fantastic job on this place it's just absolutely incredible to see and the timber's beautiful absolutely beautiful the timber i love it and all these uh poles all these staunchions underneath the house were all transported as well and you see these uh, beautiful coffee tables and dining tables and all this furniture matt has up for sale beautiful solid teak furniture brought down from central northern thailand I don't think that the bar and this chair is for sale and uh, I'm absolutely certain that Zola's not for sale. Yeah, so we'll go upstairs and have a look upstairs. We'll have a more detailed look downstairs later. The stairs have been done really well. They're set correctly. So you don't uh, trip up or trip down the stairs. A lot of stairs in Thailand, have, uh, I've noticed, are not set correctly. This is the front porch, which overlooks that area in front of the house over there. Uh, you can see in the distance some um, condos or something. That's the beach, that's Cha'an Beach, the north end of Cha'an Beach. Uh, overlooks the gatehouse and the entry to the property. This is the entry vestibule to the property. And as you can see, all timber, beautiful light in here with the uh, colored glass. I believe all the glass also came from the house in Prey that they deconstructed. Beautiful Ganesha carving there. Absolutely gorgeous. Made from a solid uh, piece of teak, solid tree trunk. In here we have uh, it's like the Buddha room, the meditation room. I can't tell you how beautiful the scent is in here. It's absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, we have... Uh, a statue of the king, of course, and uh, Buddha. And I think there's a couple of photos here also of the king and of Gay and some children. Yeah, the meditation room, lovely, beautiful light, some more absolutely gorgeous carvings. Yeah, so I love the timber in this place. Matt's a man after my own heart. I love timber, I just love timber in a home. And this is spectacular. And the way they've put it together with all the secondhand teak that they've brought down from Prey is absolutely amazing. Matt and Kay and uh, Matt's two daughters, absolutely uh, the family room, the living room. And then there's this statue, which is, uh, or carving, which is my absolute favorite. I absolutely love this. The detail in it is fantastic. Uh, I don't know if that's for sale. I mean, if I had that, I wouldn't sell it. It's just too beautiful. Um, elephants, of course, have uh, a big part in Thai history and, uh, yeah, are revered in, in traditional Thai culture. Basically, they built culture. They built uh, Thailand with elephants, with the assistance of elephants. They won battles and wars and with elephants so the elephants are very revered in thailand and this is a beautiful carving of an elephant the detail in it is absolutely fantastic yeah so uh, we move on through the house and uh Matt and Gay have uh, graciously allowed me the freedom to just wander through their personal space in the home to do this video and i'm very grateful for that so we go into uh, their own personal bedroom here and you can see it's all all the timber all the teak paneling that's been brought down here and reconstructed 
antique furniture, uh, the wardrobes, beautiful wardrobe space, lots of storage room, and uh, all the beams and the, f the uh, ceiling rafters and the ceiling panels, all uh, beautiful antique teak and uh, incredible to see, really incredible to see. What you can do here is amazing if you get the right people doing your construction and if you got the right ideas yourself of course. Lovely couple of marble style uh, wash basins in their personal uh, bathroom. Our toilet of course, shower with lots of light, hot water system, instant hot water everyone uses these in Thailand and uh, this area is where the bath is and if you sit in the bath you're looking out here over the rice paddy at the feet of uh, Nang Pantarat mountain absolutely absolutely stunning yeah I, I find it hard to uh, get the correct adjectives to describe this place the video doesn't do it justice of course it's fantastic and this is like uh, the personal relaxation area where they can sit here and have a cup of tea and some bickies and or a couple of beers Matt is fond of a beer he's very fond of a chain and they've got uh, a, a semi kitchen here and a, and a sitting space and a microwave so you can sit here of an afternoon and watch the absolutely stunning gorgeous sunsets over Nang Pantarat mountain yeah so this area is uh, their personal space, beautiful teak coffee table, a newish uh, sitting, reclining lounge, beautiful area to sit and watch the sunset and look out over the fields, just beautiful. Yeah, so hopefully no one can uh, build out over this uh, rice paddy. I, I think uh, Matt's trying to get hold of it to stop that occurring. Yeah, so let's go for a wander back downstairs and have a look and see what's going on down there. So heading downstairs, I almost fell down the stairs. I've had quite a few beers at this stage, hence there's no uh, running commentary with the video. I've done a voiceover for it because I was pretty under the weather at this stage. Uh, Matt and uh, Rob had pumped quite a few beers into me. So we'll have a look downstairs at uh, some of this beautiful teak furniture that Matt's got. And uh, what's happening is uh, that this furniture is up for sale. Uh, I'm uh, pretty sure that most of it is for sale. It's all solid teak, it's all antique. Uh, I'm not sure about the carvings, but uh, yeah, you've got like this dining table here, solid teak dining table, a little bit more traditional with uh, seating for eight people, probably more. And a whole heap of other furniture you'll see here. There's a 3.8 metre solid teak banquet table with uh, seating made from solid uh, teak uh, tree trunks with stainless steel um, legs. There's this uh, beautiful outdoor furniture. Uh, everything, all this furniture is for sale. If you wish to contact Matt, you can do so through the channel email or through Thailand Dreaming Facebook page on Messenger, all for sale. And uh, I've been informed by Matt that in January, when the place is uh, fully constructed, uh, they're going to rent this area out for functions and gatherings and parties and also the two guest rooms will be available for rent as well. So as I said, contact through the uh, Thailand Dreaming Facebook page or uh, the Thailand Dreaming email which I'll put on the bottom of the uh, information on this video. Rob, Rob, of Rob, course. Rob, Rob, drinking a beer. Rob, Rob drinking a beer, you know. So, un so unusual, I don't know. He's, he's desperately trying to turn me into an alcoholic. The two of them have <laughs> been pumping long necks into me all morning. I'm not wavered yet, but I will, I'm sure.
So that's the end of today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget if you uh, like hearing about Thailand, seeing what's going on in Thailand, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will get back and do another video of Matt's house uh, when construction is completed and the gardens are fully landscaped and give more details about uh, renting out for uh, functions, weddings, etc. and the two guest rooms. So that's it for now. So thanks very much for watching. Bye.